Hello everyone, I'm back with another read. Hopefully Spirit will be a little gentler on us this time. The last couple have been really some else. Checking right in, checking right in, Spirit. What storyline would you like to share with the people, please, Spirit? I guess it'll be what it'll be. Thank you, Spirit, for sharing with us here today. Collective Energy. Spirit, what storyline would you like to share with the Collective, please? And thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. Central energy. In the central energy, we've got the King of Wands here. Making stuff happen. He sees the bigger picture. In the challenge position, we've got the fool. A new journey. A new beginning. In the subconscious, <laughs> the chariot, he's ready to go, determined, definitely not giving up, not even slowing down. In the recent past, the emperor, in control, so there is protection and um, authority. regarding the um, foundational structure, it looks like to me, of whatever it is that is going on here. Intentions, expectations. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Intentions and expectations. They could be expecting that they worked without reward. They might be feeling stuck or they're intending to stick someone else. We'll have to get clarification in the near future. We've got the Queen of Pentacles.
whatever is happening here, it's stable. <clears throat> it's being supported with wisdom. And the lens is being looked through. Empress, a new life, something is being birthed or born, or there's a togetherness of sorts. We'll need to get some additional clarification of the story in the environment. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, a new career and financial opportunity. A cycle is about to begin anew. Everything's new. New family, new job, new abundance, better health. You're harvesting your reward. Harvest, you know, I don't particularly care for the word harvest because it can be utilized in a, um, in a, in a negative, it, to me that's the negative, right? There's the taking, there's the harvesting, but then there is the um, opposite, which is where you're investing and you're planning and you're um, it's not that you're taking something that you're going to use and sustain yourself with. It's that you're building something that will lift. It, it, it could appear the same, but it doesn't feel the same. And it's different. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. We've got strength. It will be a strong, um, a strong opportunity here. A strong, po prosperous opportunity. There's the Empress here. And it looks like... Um, Well, let's see the outcome. What's the outcome, Spirit? Whoa. Hop, skip and a freaking jump right out of there. Two of Swords in the reverse. In the upright, it means deadlock and stagnation, right? And avoidance. In the reverse, it would be the opposite of that. So there's no deadlock, there's no stagnation, there's no avoidance, there's a release, there could be a release of some sort because you've got the two of cups here a unified love there may be information overload you may be getting a lot of downloads Somebody might be afraid because this Two of Cups is coming together. They don't know what to do. Somebody is in fear and confused about it. I think of it as a release. There's no longer stagnation. You're not avoiding it. 
It's not a difficult decision. And you got the Hierophant here. So, traditional uh, values, high level commitment, trust. There might be a Knight of Wands rushing in to try to propose marriage. But there's the, yeah, because they want this Ten of Pentacles, the devil. The cycle is closed. So um, this is somebody who, uh, the devil is right freaking there. Right freaking there. So the Hierophant is here. And you got a Knight of Wands wanting to rush in to propose marriage. Because they want this Ten of Pentacles. They are the devil. They want to close out this world with the Queen of Cups, the love. But we've but she has mental clarity. And very quickly moves on. So you're coming together in this unified love, and somebody's really afraid about it. Because you're releasing them. There's no there's no hesitation. You're going for it. So they're like, okay, lesser of two evils. What the hell? They got to send in. They got to they gotta charge forward knowing that um, this union or whatever is um, being watched over. Keep your cool. You got somebody wanting to walk exact edge definition. They want to come in and hijack you and get you to choose the wrong one. Be patient. Because this jack wagon devil wants to come forward to take your ace of cups, your ten of pentacles, and close out the world. They're right there. They they may... Uh, oh, wait, what was that? Because that split right there. Oh, what the heck? They're... Boy! So... Queen of Cups knows the truth. She's she's full aware of the truth. She knows what's happening here. Very quickly, she's moving forward. There's mental clarity and um, uh, power behind this King of Cups regarding love. Shit's hitting the fan, and justice is going to be served on this trickery and fraud. They're going to have to get ready uh, because... The queen, of, the queen of Swords is here shining a light on stuff. These people are really messed up. They're going to get sacrificed to the past. They may get released to the past. Whatever this is, just know that you've got um, somebody here that is going to try to mimic the real deal. Um the divine the one thing that was like one of the most important things ever throughout all my life or at least when i started paying attention was patience And the thing about patience is that it goes hand in hand with research and observation. A study. Everything you do in life should be done with purpose, purposefully, with awareness. All right. And so what you got here is you got a knight of wands, high energy, high passion, charming knight in shining armor Woo, you know your protector all that good stuff right could be love bombing you this person may come in and try to love bomb you 
and gaslight you and do all that crap. Not gaslighting yet, but they want to love bomb you so they can get a contract with you. This devil wants a contract with your Ten of Pentacles. They want your money. So just, yeah, because you're closing out a cycle. You're the Queen of Cups and you're closing out the cycle. And, and you know the truth. There's a return to truth. It could be happening very quickly, moving forward. Yeah. Imposter alert. Imposter alert. Somebody's walking on the edge of the blade, trying to pretend that they're alive and that they're actually the one that you're going to be connected to. Now, this is just some interesting stuff. Interesting, I say. Because, um... Just because. Yeah, somebody's a chicken. This chicken wants to come forward. They're, they're um, an actor. So you got the um, King of Wands here. Overcoming challenges. Very passionate about what he's doing. Very serious. Very capable. Which... <laughs> They're challenged by your new beginning. He is capable. He's, he's, look what they've done with the world. Oh my goodness. No, I don't know here. He could be dealing with the witch, okay? He could be overcoming challenges that a witch has um, set in his path. Let's read it like that. Or he could just be a witch. He could be overcoming challenges that a witch has placed in his path. He's challenged by this new beginning. He wants a new beginning. He wants to create it. <laughs> Remember? Remember? He could be challenged that you have a new beginning. And you are remembering... We've got the chariot here. Somebody is winning a victory. See, this is in the um, subconscious of this king of wands, who either is a witch or is overcoming challenges by a witch. Let's see what's happening. In the subconscious, there's the chariot here. So he's thinking about control. He's thinking about a victory. He's thinking about a journey. He's challenged by your new beginning or somebody's, this witch is challenged by your new beginning. Vanity. You're not vain. You're not vain. This could be a visionary witch. It could be a visionary who is a witch. Or it's a king of wands overcoming challenges that a witch has. We're going to have to keep going. You got the emperor here in the recent past. important they could be in an important position intentions expectations he's either intending for somebody to have worked without reward or he um, is feeling stuck Somebody's feeling stuck about a promise. 
Somebody worked without a reward. There is a promise. He made a promise. They were careless about a promise. They're stuck because of a promise they made. They're working without reward. They're feeling stuck because of a promise they made. Or they're expecting that to happen for this um, King of Wands witch. We'll just have to continue clarifying. You've got the Queen of Pentacles here in the um, near future who is um, supporting an endeavor. Sovereign. Sovereign in the reverse. Security. She might be offering security against those who are not sovereign. She's the she's the security. And the lens that's being looked through is the Empress here. And time. And it's interesting, you know, how um, that's one of the things years ago I was told um, to remember time. And I just don't, you know. Um, that part of my memory was taken from me. I don't recall. They really, they really um, effed around with the mental body and the collective field. It was incredible, man. Spiritual throne. In the environment, you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got a new career, a new prosperous venture. Spiritual throne. You've overcome something. You have earned um, the Empress is here. It's time for this Empress to take her spiritual throne. We've got strength here. Chicken. So you're courageous and you're strong regarding this chicken. You have a subtle power over this chicken. This chicken may feel like you have a subtle power. You you you're in your spiritual throne. You're on your you're doing your career. You're strong. You're bringing strength against this chicken. You've got the two of cups here. There's a unified love uh, for partnership and um, connection. We've got the the two of swords reversed. And it looks to me like um, this isn't a crossroads. There's no deadlock. There's no stalemate. Um, there is um, a knowing. The, the choice isn't difficult. There's no difficult decision. There's no avoidance. There's no stagnancy here. But like you saw, there's still some effery going on. But the higher fence there too. So... Um, the Hierophants, they're dealing with this King of Wands trying to take part, part in your love cup. <laughs> the Hierophants here take our Knight of Wands. The, the Hierophants here dealing with this Knight of Wands devil who's trying to steal your, um, your love cup and your Ten of Wands. So... The Most High God is is closing out this cycle and has it under control is what I'm thinking. Is what I'm thinking. Because there's no difficult decision here regarding unified love. It's protected. <laughs> Wise guy. 
We got a wise guy here. There's a release of this wise guy. This wise guy is confused and worried about your union. You have power over the chicken. You are seated in your spiritual throne, Empress. It's time for you. You're seated in your spiritual throne. You have strength and courage and power over this chicken. You are in a unified love marriage connection. <clears throat> and this wise guy is confused. Doesn't know what to do about it. Because they're being released. You got home compass so there is a home uh, pathway or there's a pathway home for the conscientious evermores those who manage themselves well and take care of their lives and you'll have a service position a leadership position so their service is, um, I guess, finding out is somebody a puppet master or a puppet or not? Are they being manipulated? Are they lying? Are they trying to um, finagle some orchestrated crime while pretending to be innocent? This is a leadership role. You um, were able to preserve yourself from this tribe, this tribe of witches, kin, who put you in the grave. You were able to self-preserve over that You're through optimism. You're very optimistic. This actor is being haunted. This, act, this actor is being haunted somebody who is pretending to be you or whatever. And um, there's justice for the creator or the artist or the bohemian, however you want to look at that. The original. You're one of the originals. And so there's a, you didn't do anything um, and you're being disconnected from those who, or you're disconnecting from those who did nothing to bring up their shine those who don't have any shine there's a big disconnect coming for those who didn't do anything to get their light shining to turn on their light instead you know many of them just feasted they siphoned energy and wore that and pretended like they were a light being but they didn't do anything to internally generate that within themselves there's a backstory to this you're at peace with the snake Or even because this, the snake is here. The snake might be in a privileged position. Might want to try to pay you a visit. And say how perfect you were. The, the martyr. Maybe they're going to be perfectly martyred. Maybe they martyred you by the book. According to all of their teachings. And you were able to change the conflict. You were able to change it. You changed your perception about this competition and the drama when you were being mentally um, driven for um, entertainment. Some change or whatever, I don't know. There was a defense, a, a defense. You were able to defend yourself against this teacher and you're forgiven. Your ancestry left you alone. They left you alone, high and dry. They left you alone and worked to be seen as you. They're a player. And you're innocent. You're an innocent creator. And they're an addict exploring ways to cheat the system. 
So congratulations to you. You've got expectations of taking this seat. It's right there in the environment. And these and you have been watched and observed while you survived. They're fooling around with this stuff. Pretending to be you. They brought attention to your love. <laughs> your love. Your ability to love yourself. Wow. Object objectively. So you love the you love all parts of yourself. You accept yourself. You're in you're an arcana. You're a giant. And of course, people want to fight with you. They want to communicate. They want to find your your location. They don't know where you're at. They're trying to remote view you or whatever. They could have been cut off or something. This religious person trying to reach at you. Their purpose is to get your things. They want to um, send a message to you in the mind. So they're trying to connect with you telepathically, but they can't find you. They can't remote view you. They can't find you. They've been cut off. You're a wholesome person who knows how to care for yourself. And your appearance was prophesied. Wow. So you got the king of wands here. Let's see what's going on. Commitment. Any commitment with a witch. This king of wands is in a commitment with a witch. They may not be a witch, but they're in a commitment with a witch. They're challenged by your new beginnings and the fact that you're being remembered. Or that you remember what happened. Your, your memory is coming back. And the secrets are all out. You remember, the secrets are out. And you've gained a victory. You're in your chariot and you're moving away from these vain people. They're not allowed. You've gained a victory over vanity. You're not a vain person. You're not going to hang out with vain people. This king of wands is in a commitment with a witch. They're challenged because you're being remembered and you have this new beginning. Escape. So this King of Wands wants to overcome a challenge. They're in a, a commitment of marriage or whatever with this witch. They want to escape. They're thinking about your chariot here. You're not vain. They want to present themselves as though they're not vain. Their ego has been hurt. Their pride has been hurt. They want to escape. 
their pride has been hurt. They no longer have such a great view of themselves. They don't see themselves the same way that they once did. They want to escape. The emperor is here, important, authority, control, protection, daydreaming. So um, it could be that there's he's offering protection. He's here, important, offering protection from those who are daydreaming about being you. He's holding them off. This isn't a dream. It's not a fantasy. Those who were daydreaming about being you um, worked without reward. They're feeling stuck because of a promise. This emperor has um, promised protection. You're inseparable. You're always connected. Queen of Pentacles here is offering security regarding those who are not sovereign beings. Whoa. Yeah, so third party, uh, uh, not sovereign beings. She's offering security to this irreplaceable empress. Emperor, yeah, she's working with the emperor here to offer security and support um, for this irreplaceable union. Offering security against these third parties who are not sovereign beings. She's... And so is the emperor making, he's promising that they are going to work without reward. They will not obtain you or your position or your life or your future. forgot to pull that one out promise self-love you're still trying to heal so this emperor is important he's holding off those that are daydreaming about being you um he's promised that they are going to do their work without reward it will not work for them they're feeling stuck <clears throat> and um you love yourself you're still trying to heal from this the queen of pentacles is here offering security uh, she's a motherly figure um that sees um, the Empress here as an irreplaceable um, being. I think that she is part of the family. She might be offering security for the Emperor here, who is making sure that this um, King of Wands witch in a commitment doesn't um, escape. <laughs> so yeah, the Empress. It's time for the Empress here to step into her, um, her career. There's just too many differences. So apparently um, she is of values. Her, She's about, um, so the emperor is about structure, right? Rules and power. Father figure, you know, traditional values. Traditional values. And the empress is here. Um, it's time for her to take her position here in this new career upon that spiritual throne and her one of her, her jobs is to monitor who, what your values are. Maybe not yours, but whatever. Whatever her new job is, wherever she's going to be at, maybe she's going to be monitoring the value system of some structure. Chaser. Chaser. She's got a chaser there. Somebody doesn't want to chase her anymore. The chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. 
there is and in, in, uh, hopes and fears. So there is courage. There is uh, strength here with the with the strength card regarding um, a chicken. She's um, held strong <clears throat> against this chicken. Who is working without reward? That is the promise that the emperor has given. This is an unexpected outcome. This chicken says it's an unexpected outcome. You've got unified love here, marriage and connection here. There is, um, it's not a difficult decision at all. But this wise guy is is having is being released. So it's not a it's not a difficult decision at all. You're, there's no um, avoidance and there's no there's no stalemate. There's no deadlock. There's no delays. There's a release of the wise guy. Might be trying to figure out what you're going to do with them because it says that there is um, some indecision. So there, or maybe this person's just in fear and worried about it. The fact that there's there's no there's no difficult decisions. It's not a difficult decision. This is not a difficult decision. They can't trip you up. It's protected. They're not going to be able to mimic it. Or to copycat it. Um, the emperor and his protection. Um, this. He's not. He's definitely not. Uh, fooling around. He's not messing around. He's, he's important. He could be seen as important. He sees this as important. He's promised that these people are working without reward. They're not going to be able to take whatever it is they think they're going to take. Unappreciated. The wise guy didn't care. They didn't care. They sabotaged themselves. And they're being held back. The prideful people will be receiving uh, what they gave, a reciprocity. They're in disagreement. They think you should understand how they feel about their mistakes. People are talking. People are gossiping about um, this person who was trying to mimic you. They may not have very much energy. They're just a mere reflection, a mirror. A mirror reflection that failed. A mirror reflection that failed. Because the truth came out about soul contracts. And that they had separated this empress. They, they put her in solitary confinement. <laughs> they weren't happy with the way things were going so they put they hid her away and they decided to try to be her or whatever there's an understanding of this and these ones want to run away they're running they're in a soul tie with whatever it is that they were so happy with um to cause you neglect they did make some disagree uh, or some agreements and they um were lying and stuff about your responsibilities and they missed their opportunity they're feeling broken and shattered because there's unfinished business here. They want to fix the connection. They're in regret and they're confused. They don't know what to do. They're really feeling your absence. They're hoping that they um, can talk to you. They're feeling the damage that they were that they caused, trying to steal your destiny, using sex as a weapon. And now it's time. For um, the you, emperor and empress, to come together in reunion. The guilty, um, whatever the guilty um, are being told, 
that they are unworthy. They're going to the shadows or whatever. They're overwhelmed by the habits that they can't change. They're being detached. And they want forgiveness. But this is a new chapter. And everybody's going to go their own little way. So there's going to be an opportunity to repeat the cycle. And to do this all over again at some point. If they continue to do it. I mean the whole thing that we're generation four human the next one will be generation five and they're going to have to be tested and then eventually they're gonna this is gonna all happen again and i just think it's a ridiculous shitty game and i hope we don't have to play it again Lady. Excuse me. So you got the King of Wands here. Um, he's committed to a witch. He's in a marriage to a witch. He's trying to overcome challenges. He married a witch. He's having anxiety. Not knowing what they're going to do next causes them, a, them anxiety. They don't know what this witch is going to do next. They're having anxiety. They don't know what anybody's going to do next. You've got a brand new beginning here. And you are remembering all of the secrets that were kept. The secrets are all coming out. You remember. Your memory's coming back. shining like a diamond you're shining like a diamond so you've gained a victory over the mirror image whatever it was that they were trying to project project onto you and whatever it was they were trying to project for self or be seen as it didn't work you overcame it <clears throat> you escaped it they might want to escape their their um, pride is hurt the illusion broke and now they need an escape route because you won you gained a victory over it <clears throat> and this is ending they may want to escape death. The emperor is here. Um, he's very important. He's making sure that there's nobody here um, that's uh, doppelganger, that's pretending to be you. He's clearing it all out. He's made a promise that they're going to they're gonna work without reward. They won't be successful in whatever it is that they're doing. They're feeling stuck. And you get to heal. You're, you're loving yourself and you get to heal. You made a, he made a promise. There's a promise here. You, you get to heal. Every, oh, what's this? And um, these people that, who don't get to stay around, they want forgiveness. Everything is crumbling around them. Everything's falling apart. You're seen as an irreplaceable person. The way you love can never be matched. You've got the Queen of Pentacles here offering security. And it could be some sort of a... Um, it's some sort of support from these third-party um, non-sovereign people. 
So you're being protected from that by um, <clears throat> your kingdom spouse and their family. Empress, it's time for you to take your seat upon that spiritual throne. You're, there's values here. There's too many differences between you and these other people, so you're out of there. You got your new um, your new job, you're sitting on your spiritual throne. The chaser doesn't want to chase you anymore. Wow, I really went forward with that, didn't I? Oh, these third parties want to escape. They're not sovereign beings. They want to escape. The... Um, Queen of Pentacles here, she's offering security against these, and they're not able to escape. They want to escape. They were using love as any as an escape route. They're not sovereign beings. They were effing around using love and third-party relationships to escape this ending. death to escape death that's the walk-in part that's the walk-in part if they can take over the vessel then that means they got the chakra system and they got all that right and the soul is attached and then the uh the actual inhabitant of the temple is kind of trapped um there's that going on too so there somebody's grieving their values are just too different your values are just too different. They're not sovereign beings. They're third parties. They use love as an emotional and energetic and material gain as an escape route of poverty and um, low vibrational existence. They're grieving. Your values are just too different. So the Empress is here um, in her new career. There's a spiritual throne here. The Chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. The Chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. Or there could be a chaser here. No, I said as chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. The dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have. So you're on your, you're on your, this empress. It's time for you to take your spiritual throne in your new job. The chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. They're on the dark side. They let it keep love from them. You've got the strength card. You're very courageous in the face of this chicken. And this is an unexpected outcome as far as they're concerned. Adrift. Adrift. They weren't willing to settle down and be responsible. So you've got the two of cups here, uh, unified love and partnership. There is no, it's not a difficult decision. You're releasing this wise guy. You're just letting it go. There's no, there's no stuckedness about it. There's no stagnation. There's no doubt. You're just doing it. And you're releasing the wise guy who didn't appreciate you. They had no appreciation whatsoever for um, love for family, for fidelity, for family trees, for any of that. Games. They were playing at love. But they weren't serious about it. They hurt people badly. rocky they put out many flames and made lives really hard and put out many flames they weren't faithful to anything they were playing with love they made life difficult for a lot of people 
And this reminds me, you know, of um, folks that have children with different people. Especially if it's a woman and she has, you know, she gets with somebody and then has a child or whatever. And then they take off and then, you know, maybe she, it happens a few times. And it may not even be her fault, you know. It's just that that's what's offered and that's what it is. There isn't a, there's a fierceness here. You're protecting yourself. You're being very fierce. Because you deserve a break. You're tired of this shit. And you deserve a break. So these ones are, um, they're going under. They don't feel like they're being supported. They feel like they're being neglected. Everything is in ruins. They're handling this alone. They're crushed maybe because they got to handle it alone. They were tempted. And it could be that they're going to be put um, at some... Oh, they've been distant. So far away physically and emotionally. They're very childish. Everybody was just another notch in the headboard. It was just like to see how many you could bone, you know. And they lost. And they're guilty of a lot of things. They got a lot of secrets. A lot of tangled webs. And they're searching for an exit plan. Because you're leaving... You're leaving and what? The world burns? I don't know. Their emotional needs won't get met. They broke every promise that they that they made. They got caught up in a whirlwind. They didn't realize it was going to end this way. And everything's in pieces now. They're stuck in a rabbit hole. And they got a long, long road, way to go with an empty vessel. And they're reaching for you, trying to reconnect. And they got to face it. It's over. There's going to be a great separation. It's surreal. So you've got a King of Wands here who is um, trying to overcome challenges with a witch that he's committed to. He's married. Um, they don't. He doesn't know what they're going to do next. He doesn't know what you're going to do next. There's, he's full of anxiety. They're both full of anxiety regarding this because they're guilty. They have guilt. Their guilty conscience is eating them. happiness they're not happy they're full of anxiety looking for a way out at the expense of somebody else You've got a new beginning here that's challenging them and you're remembering stuff. The secrets are coming out. You remember the secrets that were that were being kept. They're all spilling out. You're remembering. You're remembering just how hard they made things for you. And you came out shining like a diamond. failed they're challenged because you're having you're having a new adventure 
you're remembering, you're being remembered, the secrets are all out, they made your life hard, you're coming out shining like a diamond, and they failed in their endeavor to replace you. You're a being of love. You've got your victory here, the chariot. Their illusions, their mirror magic failed. Their mirror magic failed. They want to escape this ending. doubt they are having doubt they want to escape this ending they're trying to um they're trying not to think about it they're having doubt the emperor is here this isn't a daydream he's holding back this person who was daydreaming about you he's he's promised that they're going to work without reward you love yourself. You're still trying to heal. And they want your they want forgiveness because everything around them is crumbling. Everything that they built is falling apart because they built it on um on your on your vitality. On your identity. gratitude you're thankful for this life and the opportunities that it pre presents this isn't a daydream he's keeping back those who um, wanted to be you this is important he is important he sees you as grateful he sees you as grateful. He's made a promise that these ones are going to work without rewards. They won't replace you. Everything they built on your vitality is crumbling and failing. They say they didn't mean to hurt you, but the fact is, is that they treated you like a tool, like an inanimate object. They didn't feel anything about it. They just demanded. That you pour yourself into their world and their desires, that you build it for them. <clears throat> they used you. They're not at peace. Everything around them is crumbling. It's all falling apart. You're an irreplaceable being. You love like nobody can love. It's irreplaceable. Nobody loves like you. Although they will tell you that you're not love. They will tell you that you're not sovereign. They, they try to swap places with you. They, they, they put their own persona of self on you and then they war your, they war your personality, your identity and pretended to be that, but there's no love in them. So they couldn't and they're not honest. They're liars.
They blame everybody around them, especially you, for their well-being. You're responsible for my happiness. You owe me. So the Empress is here. Um, it's time for her to take her seat. There's something about values. There's, the values were just too different between um, whoever this was and she. And they're grieving because she's leaving. Patience, everything happens in divine order. Whatever contract this was, it turned out to be really, really shitty. And she's free of it. And she's free of it. And she's taking her rightful place on that spiritual throne. And the chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. The chaser who's on the dark side doesn't want to chase anymore. They have to surrender their need to control. You've got strength against this chicken. It was an unexpected outcome. They were not ready or willing to settle down. They just wanted to play and pretend. Adversity. And bring adversity to everything. This chicken. The chicken that despises itself and wants to be seen as somebody else. And punishes the world for the lack it sees inside. You've got two of cups here, so there is a, a um, mutual attraction, a marriage. There is no difficult decisions about this. Um, you're just moving forward. And you're releasing the wise guy who did not appreciate love. They played games with it. They didn't appreciate it. abundance they played games with your abundance they played games with a limitless being who could manifest whatever they desired in this physical reality and you know what they did they buried this person and they they got committed to this witch and they made this empress's life hell and forced her to pour her abundance into their crumbling foundation this wise guy. So there's trust in the inner voice. This is going to change. It is changing. You have your health. You honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. Your imagination is good. Your mind is good. And you possess gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. You are here in service and you persevered. You know that you can do and whatever you set your mind to. You're a limitless abundant being. You can manifest whatever you want. And these, this wise guy really aft up. check in so this um king king of wands isn't happy um they were trying to overcome challenges with this witch they got married to this witch they're full of anxiety they're not happy they don't have any happiness 
They don't know what to do because they don't know what's going to happen. Wise guy. Just tried to destroy an empress. He chose a witch. Over a limitless, abundant being who can manifest whatever they want in this life the right way. They chose to go here. There's no forgiveness. They're desperate. They chose to go there and they chose to try to bring an ending, to make life hard and try to bring an ending to this empress. They really wanted it. They really wanted to destroy this beautiful being, limitless, abundant being. They really wanted to. There's no forgiveness to that. They built an empire on her energy, on her manifestations, on her abundance. And they failed to bury her. She's here with a new beginning. The secrets are all out. She remembers, everybody remembers. Support. She's got support now. They failed to take her out. <clears throat> She's shining like a diamond. She's got her chariot here. The mirror magic failed. Um, this vain person, this king of wands and his witch wife wants to escape this ending. They're going to try to do whatever they can do. They're, they don't care who they have to hurt. They're having doubt. They're going to act friendly. They're, there's nothing friendly about this, these life forms, if they are even alive. So these came out in the reverse. We've got dishonesty in the reverse. So the emperor is here. Um, he's important. There's no dishonesty. He's telling like, like it is. And he may see that you are a person of gratitude. He may see that you're an honest person. You don't lie. And he's keeping these people away from you that are daydreaming about being you by lying. There's lies flowing all around in their head. And you're not lying. You're not dishonest. What you are is what you are. Good, bad, and ugly. And sometimes it's not pretty. It's just the way it is. And you've got curious in the reverse. There's no need for curiosity because you tell it like it is. You are what you are. So he's made a promise that these ones are going to work without reward. You, you are a being who loves yourself. You're still trying to heal from this. You lick in your own wounds. You're like the, trying to clean yourself up. These ones, um, this king of wands with his witch wife, they have no peace. Their entire empire is crumbling because they built it on the essence of this abundant, limitless being, this beautiful being. We didn't mean to hurt you. They knew exactly what they were doing. They did it with evil intent and they were excited about it. They're not able to trick you. They're not going to be able to trick you. They're, you're done being tricked. You're an irreplaceable being. The way you love can never be matched. You're this beautiful empress and an abundant, limitless being on top of that. You are like maxed out mother, you know, creator stuff. And fortunately, you got this emperor here who sees you. He sees you. There's no curiosity. There's no reason to be curious. He can see you for certain. And it's all authentic and um, real. You've got the um, Queen of Pentacles here. She's offering security. She's a, a reliable mother figure who is um, protecting, offering protection from these third parties who are not sovereign beings. They're liars and they want to escape. They've been using love as an escape. And there's protection 
being offered to this empress who is our irreplaceable being by this queen of pentacles tribe a tribe a whole tribe a whole tribe of nasty freaking liars chose to go on the dark side rather than be with this limitless abundant empress they chose to bury her in the dark side and play there like it was the greatest thing ever they were playing games They had no appreciation whatsoever of the beauty that the Empress brought. None. Zero. Or her empathy, her ability to feel. And to provide, you know, not only, um, uh, she's abundant and always, and always nurturing, emotional support understanding you having you know understanding your plight putting herself in your shoes carrying the burden if she can and they burdened her all right they put it all on her the whole freaking tribe and all their descendants and all their friends and everybody who is in allegiance thinking that this was going to work So Empress, it's time. The values are just too vastly different. These ones are grieving. They lost you. Patience. Everything happens in divine order. And we've got laugh. It's time for you to experience some laughter. It's time for you to experience joy. You're coming into um, your your new job here. It's time for the Empress to take her spiritual throne. The chaser doesn't want to chase anymore. They have to surrender and release their need to control. They chose the dark side. They chose it. Travel. There might be some travel plans. They may have, they're, they're gonna be taking a trip. They're gonna go to the dark side real soon. They're gonna be traveling. To the dark side real soon. There's strength over this chicken. So you, 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 you rustled them, rustled. They're uncertain. This is an unexpected outcome. They thought that this adversity was going to go better. Um, they were never willing to settle down and be serious or responsible with anything. You've gained power over this situation. You've gained control over it. Check in. They can't check in. They're not going to check in. This says, I want to catch up and make sure everything is going well. You're not checking in. There's no check-in. Nope. They're set adrift. Pshh. Everything's scattered. Everything's crumbling. Everything's flying away. There's no stability. There's nobody to sweep up the pieces or to present it in a pretty package. None of that. You got the two of cups here. There's a new marriage and a new connection. Empress and emperor are here and they're in their queen of pentacles is offering um, security here. And he's making a promise that these ones were going to all the work they do. They're not going to get their reward. They won't. There is no difficult decision here. You've got the two of swords reversed. 
There's no stagnation. It's forward movement. You're releasing this wise guy who did not appreciate you. They played games with love from a limitless, abundant being who could manifest whatever they wanted in the world. And they chose to go shitty with a witch and play in the dark side and be cruel. A li manifesting on her limitless, abundant ability while calling themselves limitless and abundant. Positive. Your intentions are pure. So this Empress says, my intentions are pure and I only want to improve your life. She's a limitless, abundant being. Her intentions are positive and pure. She only wants to improve people's lives. And they tried to bury her in hell. They did. But she gained a victory over it. And the mirror magic failed. They saw this empress as an easy target. She was sweet and kind and generous. And they thought, oh, she's so sweet and kind and generous. She'll never defend herself. She'll never stand up. She'll never crawl out of that hole I put her in. The cruelty, the viciousness, that they gave to the Empress while appearing friendly. They're getting bad news. The gift, the Empress, the abundant limitless being has a team who are collaborating here. together regarding those who deliberately manipulated her mind and the perception of reality regarding her and made her doubt her own experiences. They want to apologize for gaslighting her, but she's like, goodbye. And they're yelling. They're yelling. Their future is uncertain. They want a big favor and offering unsolicited advice. The small favor, the big favor, the secret is they want to use that to bring chaos, to vent chaos into the connection. It's a cord. It's a connection. Any gift, any favor, anything at all is a connection and a um, willing participation in the energy of this person or people. You've grown immensely through this and in love. You've experienced a lot of growth and you remain in love. These ones were bragging about their plans for you through the grapevine to steal your career. They want reconnection. They want it. They're greedy. They're, they have obligations with unfriendly people. They took out loans. They welcomed loans. They received loans thinking that they were going to get you buried. They were envious of you and hurting you. They were impostering you. They were presenting themselves as you. This was entertaining. This was fun. They took out loans. They owe scary people things and you're not interested in anything to do with them and they, they, in their, their apologies, you're uninterested in their apologies. They sabotaged your care for them. You don't give a crap anymore. They need a safe place. 
They want to come out and go on a date. They're desperate to get into your mental body, to get into your energy. They want to bring revenge because of your honesty and you're spreading the news. They want to bring revenge to you. They want to enact revenge. They're feeling all negative and stuff because you're healthy. And they haven't gotten over the past. You're healthy regardless of the past. Whatever, man. These ones want revenge on you because you're healthy regardless of what they did to you. And they did a lot. But this is ending. I hope this clarified something that you already intuitively knew, everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.